Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, getting this Messi card is no joke, okay? It's literally no joke. I bought him for 7.7 .7 mil. Like, I was just chilling. I'm like, okay, got enough coins. Gonna go ahead and do the review, blah, blah, blah. Bro, I go on the market because I, I don't know the market, okay? I don't know the market. I go on the market and I see like three of him. I'm like, what? I swear this guy was like 7.4 and then he's like 8.7 and then one pops up for 7.7. I'm like, I gotta get it. So I'm for sure losing a million coins on this card, 100%. But it's worth it. For you guys, no problem, my friend. No problem. Guys, Messi's card, 5'7", high, low work rates, left-footed, 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Disgusting, okay? Listen, the high, low work rate is an interesting one because high, low work rate in FIFA is usually very, very nice. But normally, I really love Messi's medium-low in the cam position. Medium-low work rates are just... It's just beautiful in the cam position. The thing is, though, right, is that high low is still one of the most wor most meta work rates in the game. So I don't really care that much. You know, the fact that this card now has five star skills is nasty. I could do ball roll scoops, McGiddy cancels with a bad boy like this that has both of the meta shooting traits while having basically perfect shooting stats. I don't know, bro. I don't know. He's going to have 99 acceleration at 97 for sprint speed. Base card stats for shooting is actually going to be perfect uh, on this card for everything. Uh, passing is perfect. Dribbling, basically perfect. I see the reactions at 98. I'm like, basically perfect. <laughs> uh, defensive stats, not there. 90 stat. They even have him. They, they give him stamina, too. So if I want to use this card in the side positions, I actually could. I don't know, bro. You know what's funny is that I was going to do the review with Spinazzola at the same time. So I'm like, oh, yeah, 7.5. Spinazzola is like 300K. I'll do them at the same time because midfielder reviews are super boring to do. But now I'm going to have to do him after because it's like he just took up all my coins. I'm going to lose coins. Crazy. But it's worth it. Anyways, uh, 3, 4, 1, 2, chat. Uh, we're going to do Di Maria. I got to put Messi. I can. I have to. I have to because you know this man. If, if it's anything, listen, I know he has a medium low on the other cards, but this card literally positions himself for finesse shots. I want to see how that high low is going to act, because I'm definitely going to be switching between the cam and the striker area uh, to see how this card kind of behaves generally. But um, yeah, cam position, he'll be involved. Stay forward, get into the box with a cross, all of that good stuff. Guys, let's go try him out, man. I'm not going to say hopefully he's, hopefully he's a beast, because let's be real. Let's be real. Oh, I put too much power on it. Too much power on that chip. Oh, I just read time. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I hit that properly. Yeah, I don't think I hit that properly at all. Change the elastico. Meta. <laughs> Oh, I was trying to get the shot on the bounce. You see when the ball is bouncing? That's the best time to hit those bad boys. Oh, no. He's on the edge over here. Oh, my goodness. That quick response miss with his left stick. Crazy. Oh, so crisp. No problem. This guy is absolutely disgusting. Oh, if I scored, that would have been nasty. Oh my goodness, what did I just see? What did I just see? You know I had to go for it. The fact that he hit it as a driven and it was going in is kind of disgusting.
<laughs> I mean, I mean, this is like, this is just, this is just, I don't know. You're giving this guy five star skills. You know how good his shooting was before, but you're going to give him the five star skills. Oh, I mean. Oh, so close. Nice try. Nice try on that shot. Holy man. If you green your finesses, like GG's, like he's going to score. GG's, bro. Look at that state of this. Oh, gameplay's rough and uh, gameplay compensators, man. Gameplay compensators. You can see because my, my Blanc doesn't want to touch the ball. He's like going over it, you see? Listen, if I'm playing like meta FIFA, I'm making the extra pass and stuff there. Like you kind of have to in this game, but I got to go for the shot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, listen, you give him, you gave him the five star skills. You know what I'm saying? Like you gave him the five star skills. <laughs> the shot cancel actually force the animation. Pen. Oh. Literally the best left stick dribbling I've used this year. Not even joking. And he doesn't even let me take the pen. Of course he doesn't. to work that um elastico angle there we'll take it we'll take it oh my goodness gracious Oh, the double post. Oh, I think that was going in too. Oh, you could score headers too. Okay, cool. I think Messi has a chip shot trait, right? I'm pretty sure he does. Because when these guys have the chip shot trade, they're just crazy at it. FIFA 22. I didn't even put more power behind that chip. When you have the chip shot trade, like you just got to put like more power in certain ones, like when you're coming off of a run and whatnot. Uh, but if you do, you're literally good to go. Nice try, nice try. So direct. So, so direct. And if you green it, it's in. <laughs> yeah, he starts wasting my time, so hopefully we get that ball. We're good. Even from that distance, that's... Just crazy. Ah. Okay, it do be like that and do be like that. I 
Thank you, sir. Very good, very good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Guys, I actually ended up selling the card for a decent amount. I only lost like 250k-ish on him, so... I'm okay with that. For the Lionel Messi review, I'm okay with that. That's dope. Uh, guys, Lionel Messi, Shapeshifters, uh, final verdict. Probably the best card I used this year. Probably. I mean, it, here's the thing, right? In this game, in the meta of this game, you give a card like this the five-star skills, you have everything you need. You know, uh, there's multiple areas of the pitch where you go for ball roll scoops, Magidi cancels, you go for flick ups, you go for any of that type of stuff. And, you know, the fact that he has those skill moves now, it just allows you to do everything. It gets you into angles for finesse shots. It gets you angles into shooting it across goal near post. Dude, like his shooting is so disgusting that in shots that, you know, normally wouldn't go in, like when you know the ones where you face at a 45 kind of facing away from the goal, that's not a high percent strike in FIFA. Players usually don't hit those opportunities well, and he hit them well in this game, okay? Uh, so there's really not much to say. Uh, the fact that he's a center forward, you know, giving you those links in your team is kind of nasty. I didn't pack him one time for the shapeshifters pack that people were getting. Um, I've seen, I think I saw like two or three people on Twitter actually packing him and getting super, super lucky, but... Yeah, he's. I'm trying to think of players because I really like Team of the Season Vinicius Jr., but this Messi destroys that card, which says a lot because Team of the Season Vinicius is amazing. Um, yeah, he might be the best one. I haven't tried out like the biggest icon moment cards like Pele and those guys, but this Shapeshifters Messi card, it makes sense that he's this expensive. It really does because. He just does the most ridiculous things. Like, the, the fact that this card has five-star skills now, it's just nasty because now that you can give him the five-star skills, you just, you have zero restrictions. Like, absolutely zero. He has all of the shooting traits. He even has, like, I don't know, like, these things, when it comes to, like, animation choices, I always tell you guys, like, long shot taker, playmaker for, like, the good passes, right? Um, technical dribbler. I feel like it does something to the animation, maybe. I don't know, right? But the shooting stuff being there is so important because it's so noticeable that he has those two. It's oh, it's always been noticeable. Um, his chip shots, like, dude, I, like, it's crazy. You're putting more power into it, but it's still super accurate. Like, the only one that's going to be less accurate is the the one, the first one that I hit, where it's kind of like a like a bounce, and you have to hit it first time from the bounce. Like, those are going to be more inconsistent. But when we're, when we're talking about chip shots on the floor, he just kind of hits them like he did in real life during his prime, you know. So. Yeah, he's definitely there's uh, like I, I would do comparisons, but I don't I don't I can't think of a comparison like Diego Maradona, maybe like I think they improved his weak foot, right? Yeah, see, I haven't tried out this card. I have not tried out this card, so I do not know what he's like, but I guess this would be the other card that's like similar, right? Because high, well, he's high medium, so it's a little bit different, but high medium is still usually like really nice in this game, but yeah, there, there was really nothing wrong with this card, unless we're actually talking about the gameplay of FIFA, then yes, he, you know, he's going to do dumb things sometimes because of this game. But in regards to him, like his height, like he can't, he obviously can't dribble as fast if he has the height. So it's like all of that information is super irrelevant. Like it's just, it's the best card in the game. Like every type of shot I wanted to take, dude, I, I, like you don't even have to, you don't even have to green it. Like I green it for like higher consistency, but... The whites, man, just the whites came off like crazy. Just, Whew. wow. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm sorry this took a while. I had to get coins for the account because he's expensive. He's like 7.7 .7 mil. We just sold him for 7.85, which is good. 200, 200k coin loss? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Uh, guys, 200k, 250k, something like that. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.